So good morning, Susanna here from The Good Property Company with Vicky. Um, and Vicky has just recently been promoted to Head of Development. Yes. Um, so currently you're doing two jobs. That's right, yes. What are you doing? So I am overseeing the letters department and moving slowly and understanding the development side. And what's development? So it's basically all the... <laughs> <laughs> So the handover process is when Ash gets a deal, then it will be passed over to me and then we'll renovate alongside work with Maggie, with one of our surveyors, and trying to get it um, sold and developed like at the standard that TGPC do. So, yeah. so you are in charge really, so Ash brings the deal in That's right, and yeah. he's currently on deal 202, yes. Woo! <laughs> which is great. So Ash brings them in, Maggie does the conveyancing to yeah. get them brought in, yeah. then they get given to Vix yeah. and they're basically either developed yeah. to be let out yeah. or they're developed to be sold. That's right, yeah. And then you hand them back over to Maggie if they're being sold to be conveyanced to be sold yeah. uh, or over to the lettings department mm -hmm. if they're going to be rented out. Yeah. So you're kind of in the middle making them from awful to beautiful. That's right, yeah. Yes. And at the same time running the lettings department. Yeah. A little bit busy. She's only a baby. She's only, she only 23. Um, what we've done is Tiff's moved across to be my PA. So um, Tiff's doing filming. And, uh... hey. <laughs> this is my main job, filming. Yeah. <laughs> but what we as a business, and it's probably something you guys are going to do as well, is we are still in that development stage. So, you, I mean, I'm sure everybody has read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. So you know that you start as um, having a job, excuse me. <clears throat> then you move to being self-employed in that quadrant. And then you move up to being... Um, a business owner and that's very much actually the area that we've occupied yeah. and then you move into being an investor which is about asset management so and um, what we're talking about at the moment is my portfolio currently we have a whole team of people yeah. that run my portfolio in-house and we're actually saying well do you know what let's move those assets mm -hmm. into um, an, an external letting agency I mean that's like oh my god yeah. We've yeah. never done that in our yeah, lives, <laughs> but no, but strategically we've done exactly the classic thing or I have and we have as a business. So we've, we, I've had a job, then I was self-employed um, and then I ran a business or oh, still do TGPC, but we're very much st and strategically looking at assets. Mm -hmm. um, and so do we want the customers, i.e. the tenants? No, we want to be able to have the capacity of bringing the deals in, which is Ash, yeah. getting the deals bought, which is Mags, renovating the deals, which yeah. is Vicky, and either getting them sold mm -hmm. again through estate agents or getting them let out through an, a, a letting agent. Yeah. And I think that trajectory, the kind of rich dad, poor dad classic trajectory is probably one you guys will go through as well mm -hmm. as you develop, excuse me, as property investors. So. Why did this happen now? Mm. Oh, because of our filmmaker. Yeah. I could only do it when I had enough time to think strategically about the business. Mm. So we have kind of two sets of assets in our business. We have physical assets. We've got loads of bricks and mortar. Yeah. And then we have what you might call, <laughs> well, <laughs> it is morning and I haven't put any makeup on, intellectual assets, mm. which is our education department, which Jess runs. Um, fantastic mentoring department and obviously our online because we love producing good quality online stuff for you whether it's the free videos or we've got the packs and the courses mm -hmm. on our website so we have those two sets of assets and by being able to bring Tiffany in to help me with time management mm -hmm. I still think there's like 27 hours in every day <laughs> I could then look at the business strategically and think well it's actually assets that we have it's the, pro the property knowledge of having done 45 million quids worth of property mm -hmm. bought for 30 million quid mm -hmm. So can we work strategically on that? So Tiff and I were going through her KPIs, which are key performance indicators, which, which is what we kind of measure, measure yeah. really. Well, it's not, well, we do measure, yeah. we do. But it's very much guiding our work and saying, Tiff, although you're not going to produce these assets, it is your job to make sure I have the space to make this happen. Mm -hmm. And so there's two things really in this video, apart from saying hi to Tiff, a filmmaker who's not doing her... Gl glamorous <laughs> flick in front of the camera but you know those long nails are filming right now yeah, yeah. and introducing you to Vicky is actually to think about the trajectory you're going to have which is from job to self-employed from self-employed to business owner from business owner to investor and really to notice that we're only making that trajectory now mm -hmm. and it's probably something you'll do and then the second thing to kind of notice is I can't do this myself there's no way I'd have done 202 deals in five years 45 million quid's worth of property bought for 30 million quid on my own just no way so team mm -hmm. but also time 
So in property, it's time, money and skills. And first off, I brought the team in and then, I mean, they're really good to actually help run the business very strongly. And then Tiff, who knows the business inside out, knows me inside out, moved across to being my PA three weeks ago. And within three weeks, we've got a new focus, which is about we move from business owner to investor, mm -hmm. which is about our assets, our knowledge that we share with you guys, um, whether one-to-one -one mentoring or sorry, the group mentoring or online and our property assets. So time, money and skills are the three resources you need in property and it's always when you put time in either through team yeah. to deliver or team with TIFF so I can think strategically that you make the great leaps. So always prioritise time over money and skills. Skills you can get, you know, we can teach you skills. Join our mentoring group, buy our online stuff, you know, it's really good quality stuff. We can teach you that. Money you can raise. Yeah, exactly. Vix phoned me up last Saturday morning. No, you texted me at eight o'clock in the morning because obviously Vix is um, developing up her own property going, how do I raise this much money? Mm -hmm. And I'm texting her back going, you do this, <laughs> this, this and this. So, you know, she's a yeah. baby. She's 23, yeah. you know, but she'll raise money and yeah. she will buy her HMOs this year. So yes, money you can raise elsewhere. Yeah. But time is your game changer, whether it's team time or then almost strategic time that Tiff, who's behind the camera, has brought in. Mm -hmm. So there you are. Two, two things for this video, your trajectory between employed, self-employed, business owner and asset manager. Mm -hmm. An asset manager or investor is the one that gives you the freedom. Yeah. And time, money, skills, S skills you can buy in, uh, money you can raise, mm -hmm. time is your game changer. Anything to add? Um, I think you've said it all, really. <laughs> I, think, I think you've said it all. <laughs> I'm going to say a lot more to her because she's going to be buying her properties this year. I know, I will do. Good. How many properties are you going to buy? Well, um, three. Let's three? Just say it straight, three. Okay, buy That's when? That's my aim. Buy when? Um, well, I need to put a time to it. So Put it um, now. I want to say summertime. Okay. So that gives me time to raise private finance. Five months? Yeah. Okay. Um, so raise private, private finance, find an investor yep. um, with my um, business plan. With your business plan, which you've written? Yes, um, <laughs> I just need to um, write up properly. So, yes, um, you do. Yeah, and yeah, make it happen in the summer. Okay, because obviously Vix can get our deals. So she's got no, not even a think about the deals. Yeah. She just needs to raise the money and she's very, very credible. So if anybody's interested, contact Vix through our office and write the business plan so she knows where she's heading. Yes. So I hope that's very useful. And uh, stay in touch to see how many properties she's bought because yes, we'll do a tour please. when we've bought them. <laughs> see ya. Bye. Bye.